Okay, all you are seeing now is the voltage of the capacitors. It's at 12.6 volts. Now I have attached the car heater, only I didn't push this one. I'm going to show you what will happen with power usage, running on capacitors only. The capacitors are 500 farads. I'm now going to make the connection to the heater for a brief second. Okay, and disconnect. As you can see, I've lost half a volt in a short period. And to get it back, I will have to rotate the back wheel for a while. Okay, now I'm going to show you something. This device. Uh, well, it's, it's using a little bit power, of course, 7 milliamps, to do its work. And, and I've attached it through a diode. Now I'm going to remove the diode because um, I want to give all the power I can um, without heating up the diode and losing voltage. So, basically, for the complete setup, um, I will remove the diode. What will happen is the capacitors are going to put the power back into the wheel and start spinning it like an e-bike is supposed to do. Um, so I'm going to do two things in a brief short of time. Um, remove the diode, reconnect the power to the, fit, the, the heat fan and uh, this way I can pedal on the bike and supply as much power as I need to the fan. I won't be speaking at that point because I'll get tired of uh, running the bike and you won't hear it, maybe not, I don't know, but it's going to make a lot of noise. And well, let's hope it's all visible. Okay, removing the diet so the motor will spin. And now I'm going to connect the fan and now I'm going to jump on the bike as quickly as I can. Okay, 13 volts left. I've got a peak of almost 300 watts. Average is 2.4 watt hour. A peak of 21 amps. It says 12 volt max, but phew. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Read the description. Bye.